one month challenge! <laughs> Yay! Hi folks, we're here today to tell you about our one month challenge. Um, so we wanted to talk a little bit, we wanted to be kind of cash in our gray shirts, <laughs> talking about how the one month challenge is going so far. Yep. Today is the 18th of June, so the month is more than halfway done. And I know you guys are going crazy. We've got a whole three subscribers <laughs> that really, really want to know what's going on with this challenge. So, for you guys special today, we have... <laughs> that was a drum roll. Um, an update video. An update video. <laughs> yeah. So we want to talk about our progress and some other stuff that I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats to know. They're dying to know. So... Mm. Our progress throughout this one month challenge. Do you have the killer buys that you've been trying to get the whole time? No. <laughs> They're not. There I'm yet. trying. Uh <laughs> to do a lot of the um, workout moves modified because I don't have a lot of upper body strength so if we do pull-ups I have to do ring rows and um, you know I have to use the smaller um, barbell to do like bench presses and things yeah, so they've got the 45 pound bar and they've got them colored they're green and blue and the green and blue ones are lighter and you use like the, the green, the green the one, lightest the one. lightest one, yeah. Which, which is about like thirty three pounds. And also the ring rows, you've probably seen it in the video. They're the like you know Olympic looking rings where you just kind of lean back yeah. and pull yourself up. A little bit easier than a regular old pull up. Not easy for me. Please though. continue. Like I'm just getting stronger. Like I can do more pull ups. Like I went to class, I could do ten in a row. Now I could probably do more than that. I haven't gauged it yet or anything, but. Like, I'll go to do pull-ups in a wad, and, you know, I'll do the first set. And then about halfway through the second set of just doing straight pull-ups, I'll go over to where, you know, they hang the band on the pull-up bar. So you can get a little bit of that tension released, and it makes it a little bit easier. So I, I still, at this moment, I'm not getting through, like, three sets of pull-ups. I still have to switch and modify a little bit. You know, whenever you we do... You can tell it's getting easier. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm definitely getting strong. <laughs> my buys and I'm like yes they're 100% bigger you know I mean even throughout like at, on the last day of this challenge I'm probably not going to be like no. my buys that's I notice a difference and I'm probably gonna say hey my buys really look the same I think I'm gonna feel different so there's actually a, a saying and I don't know who said it it's probably some trainer but it says it takes four weeks for you to notice a change in yourself and eight weeks for other people to notice so I noticed a change in myself and how I feel and how energized I am and how like my clothes fit. You know, they're not as my pants aren't as tight around my waist. Yeah, for girls, that's big. And you know, but I had my moments where, because we're doing a lot of strength work and I'm not used to doing strength work, I was feeling like I was getting like bigger, like I was gaining weight. But really, I was just gaining muscle and then muscle. The more muscle you have, the more fat you burn when you end up working out. Yeah. So I had like a period of like four or five days where I just felt huge. And I just kept going to the workouts and I still kept feeling huge and I was really skeptical. And then now, you know, it's been a couple days since that stint and I'm feeling significantly better and everything fits better. It was just like really a weird couple yeah, that's days. Pretty <laughs> consumed as far as food goes um, but you go to CrossFit and the first couple of weeks you're probably gonna gain weight and you might even maintain those gains you know yeah. but for a guy like me like gains are good I'm not in this to try and lose weight I just want to like 
I, I couldn't even tell you exactly what I weigh right now. I mean, it's like 150, 160, somewhere in that range, but like I don't weigh myself every day. But you are going to experience gains because you're, you're lifting, you know, you're, you're doing snatches and deadlifts and pull-ups and all these things that I didn't used to do. I, all I did really was run. You may notice that we have a little bit less footage of our actual workouts. That is because there are beefy guys that are really strong doing their workouts and it is kind of awkward to bust out the camera and start doing some filming in those moments. So I get corrected a lot in the gym when we're doing workouts, particularly with like the powerlifting stuff where I've got to get the bar up over my head. And it's really important that you do that correctly or else you could hurt yourself. There's a lot of trainers in there that are regularly correcting my form. Um, I'm not one who likes to be corrected a lot, but these trainers, so far at least, have been really cool to me about that. They've always been, you know, okay, yeah, you just need to turn your elbows in or act like you're breaking the bar when you get it up over your head or whatever kind of advice that they give me and then positive, you know, okay, that was awesome, do them all like that. Right. That's really, really helpful, so I really appreciate those trainers. There are lots of days where we do not want to go to CrossFit at all, which is totally fine and totally normal. That, that's anybody. Anybody doesn't want to work out sometimes. You and, know? you know, it takes about 21 days to start forming a habit, yeah. to just getting into a routine and saying, okay, I'm going to CrossFit And today. it's tough with a kid, too. I mean, it's you guys really that have to... kids know... You probably haven't seen a movie since your kid was born, nope. you know. I mean, you got to find a babysitter and always oh, doesn't work and you can't afford the babysitter and you got to get there. I mean, sometimes we do workouts where Em will go to one class at 5.30 and then I'll bring Claire with me and we'll do like a swap off at 6.30. So yeah. it's tough, you know. It's tough to get there and some days it's like their class ended late. My class that I need to be in already started. Here, here's Claire. I got to run to get into my class. Right. That sucks. I don't like doing that at all. No. But that, like... I always feel better if I go to the class, if I do it, if I like win, basically, because I'm having like this internal battle where I'm like, oh, should I go, should I not go? Yeah. Going is always, I mean, I've never gone to a workout and said, oh, that was stupid, I shouldn't have gone, I feel like crap now. No, I always feel awesome after a workout. So it's really hard to find motivation sometimes. Hey, Claire. Hi. You ready for mom to get done exercising? She's standing up in her car seat. Her stroller, I should say. This is the cool new dragging stroller. Waiting for the next class. We just have really crazy schedules right now. We're sure. So we just have to force ourselves to go. I, I should mention that right now, at this current moment, I am working two, count them, two full-time jobs. Full time insinuates that there's no more time. Full time. That's all your time. You don't have any more time because it's full. The bottle is full of time. You don't have room for any more time. Well, guess what? Two full time jobs. I'm transitioning from one job to another job. This new job sh should be pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. But, man, I am a busy, busy dude. So getting into these classes is tough. But we're doing it. We're making it happen. Bam! Was that really bro? Bro is shuck me? Yeah. All right, that's okay. cool. You can be, you can be bro I don't sometimes. Want to be a bro. Hey, pound it, <laughs> getting it done. So that's how we're doing. That's what's going on with CrossFit right now. Please subscribe, um, like us, thumbs us, thumbs us up, and and keep watching. See what see what happens. See if my my buys get huge. Yep. Bye.